Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. We're talking whiskey and records for the holiday season. A couple quick housekeeping things as we get started here. Number one, we are releasing this video on Black Friday and in our shop, which the link is down below in this video, you can get 30% off today only, Black Friday only. Also, time is running out to sign up for our Advent tournament this year. Go to thebourbonvan.com, click the link to enter Julie's bracket, enter my bracket. You can win a bottle of Bull Run whiskey. Matter of fact, Bull Run is giving away four bottles, two to the overall winners and two to the top scoring Patreons. So you don't wanna miss out. No purchase necessary. We don't put you on any stupid mailing list or anything <laughs> like that. Just a fun thing that we do every year and make sure that you watch all those videos throughout the Advent season on the Bourbon Van YouTube channel. That might be the most important announcement. I think it was, yeah. <laughs> and now it's time to talk about music. It's about time. And whiskey, <laughs> naturally. I gotta be honest, I think I'm more excited to talk about the music today. Yes, you should be. I love Christmas music. <laughs> We've already been listening to it for quite a while. The thing about it is if you're only familiar with Christmas music that you've heard on popular radio or something like that, you're missing a whole lot of what's out there even though the first record we're going to talk about is fairly popular i'm sure you've heard music from this record but i still like it anyways we're going to introduce you to some records that we have in our collection there's some wonderful music out there we just don't own them so we're sticking with what we have currently in our home sticking with that for the whiskeys <laughs> as well uh the first record are you ready i'm ready we are starting off with charles brown please come home for christmas it really is one of our favorites. It absolutely is. And wait till you hear the whiskey we're pairing this with because it's also one of our favorites. We're pairing this record with Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond 7 Year. Rich, velvety, textured, but also immediately likable. Could be talking about Charles's voice or this whiskey. Approachable and balanced, this album and this whiskey are crowd pleasers for any mood. The keyboard work on Blue Christmas is a highlight, and Charles's version of Merry Christmas Baby is low key one of the better holiday blues tracks you'll ever hear. It's also a super long album, so you really get your money's worth, just like this whiskey. Next up, we're gonna have a crazy cool Christmas with Kermit Ruffins. And we're pairing this one with our brand new bottle of Still Austin, The Artist. Bright, spicy notes delivered over a rub some dirt on it backbone. Unconventional yet familiar, it's impossible not to enjoy this combo. What will Santa Claus say when he finds everybody swinging? What a great track. This album is a fun, unexpected ride from start to finish. A lot like this whiskey, <laughs> which we haven't actually tasted this whiskey on this channel before, but it's what we're drinking right now. Yeah. Has some beautiful flavors. Cherry, vanilla, dark brown sugar, a little bit of tobacco. And of course, some unmistakable Texas notes in mm. there. It's funky, it is sweet, it's spicy, it's fun. It's everything that this Kermit Ruffins album is. And it's a fairly new whiskey. It just came out this year or the year before. And I believe that the Kermit Ruffins album is the only one from this century that is in <laughs> our <the> list. <laughs> Next up is the Ramsey Lewis Trio, Sound of Christmas. Classic. Classic. Such, such a classic record. And we've paired the perfect classic bourbon with this one. Phil said it's a classic, and for this one, we're going Four Roses, Single Barrel, Barrel Strength. Just because we're listening to holiday music doesn't mean this album isn't cool. This is straight ahead jazz that just happens to be holiday themed. Meanwhile, we've said about this whiskey that this is bourbon. This is what bourbon should taste like. Exceptionally well-balanced and easy to enjoy, you'll find real substance and satisfaction in this whiskey, just like this album. Ramsey's exceptional keyboard work on Christmas Blues is the highlight for me, but this is truly an album full of highlights. We usually kick off the season with this album, we usually finish the season with this album. This is just great jazz, Ramsey Lewis Trio, absolutely fantastic. Did we pick this one because the pattern's so cute? <laughs> it's Don Patterson, Holiday Soul. For this one, Phil's pairing this with Larceny Barrel Proof, but I think this one is perfect for a holiday Manhattan. Yeah, I think that we can agree to disagree on this one. There's nothing wrong with that. We're going back to 1964 for this album. It's a bit of a slow starter, but it's unstoppable once that rig gets rolling. Things really heat up on what are you doing New Year's Eve. Contemplative and thoughtful at times while being completely raucous at other times, this album is impossible to ignore, just like this whiskey. The longer you sit with it, the more it impresses. This whiskey, just like Don Patterson's music, only gets better with time. You know, one thing about this Larceny Barrel Proof, this is the only time of year that I drink it. True. It's so strong. I can't touch this stuff when the temperature is over like 60 degrees. I just can't do it. This is a wintertime bottle for me, especially this season. And you know, sometimes you need something barrel proof. We got a lot of family parties going on this time of year. We got work parties going on this time of year. You need something a little 
little stronger. Yeah, some people love that kind of thing. If you're like me, you're just looking for a way to get through it and a way to wind down after those things. Larceny Barrel Proof, that does the trick for me. Did we leave this one for last because it's from Mistletoe Records? No, we left it for last because it's a banger. It is Christmas with McGriff. Jimmy McGriff, the consummate organist. Yeah, we got a lot of keyboards going on here, but I'm telling you, this one's really worth it. And wait till you see what we paired with it. I think this is a great one. This one might be a bit of a surprise, but it's Redwood Empire Lost Monarch. This album is just a good time from start to finish. It blends styles to create a real holiday party unlike any other. And speaking of blending styles, Redwood Empire Lost Monarch is a blend of bourbons and rye that delivers spicy high notes over a smooth and satisfying backbone. This whiskey and this album are a fantastic combination that deserve to be on everybody's wish list this season. Hip Santa, by the way, is a sleigh ride of a song. It is so much fun, I absolutely love it. Between that album and this whiskey, I can enjoy both of them year-round, but it's one reason that we start listening to holiday music so early in the year, there's just so much good jazz, and that Jimmy McGriff album, nothing puts me in the holiday mood faster than that album, even though I really could listen to it any time of year. Well, there you have it, but we have one more holiday treat for you. In the description below this video, there is a link to a Spotify playlist. Click that link and you can hear all five of the records that we just talked about, plus a couple of extras that we don't have the vinyl for, but we love them nevertheless. Give that playlist a listen, let us know what you think about it, and from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays from the Bourbon Van.